Good morning. This is the Think Genetic presentation. I'm Dave Jacob, the founder and patient advocate for Think Genetic. I have one of the rare genetic diseases, a connective tissue disorder called cutis laxa, which led to open heart surgery as a five-year-old. My sister has the same condition, same surgery, and now I'm faced with an aortic aneurysm that went undiagnosed for 60 years. Think Genetic is a cognitive application. Think IBM Watson if you want to get a reference point, um, that allows us to talk in a conversational way with Think Genetic and get confident answers back to questions about rare genetic conditions. We're changing the rules in the way that patients get diagnosed with uh, genetic conditions. Currently, the pharmaceutical companies are looking for patients using sales reps, uh, TV advertising, which I'm sure you've seen a lot of, and other means. Um, and it's just hard because there's so few, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. We want to turn that equation around and say the patients are out looking, trying to figure out what's going on with them and going undiagnosed. The um, average diagnosis period is about eight years. So that's a long time to go without treatment uh, if you get diagnosed at all. So we think that if we can provide a cognitive application on the Internet and let users and patients do what they always do, which is Google for answers, they'll eventually find Think Genetic and they will begin getting real answers to their questions and will guide them through the process of discovering what condition they might have, uh, what they need to do about that condition, how to get treated, how to get tested, uh, what treatments might be available. We think of it as a GPS for genetics. So not only are we helping you figure out what your condition is, we're also trying to help you live with the condition and get to the next stage of diagnosis. So compared to the internet, uh, which has a lot of good information but also a lot of uh, poor information or unvetted information. Again, Think Genetic only uses information that we put into the knowledge base. So it's been curated by genetic counselors, uh, medical doctors, uh, uh, geneticists, and then it goes through a review process to make sure that it's accurate. Because as you know, when you ask questions of a database, the answers are only as good as the information that you put into the database. So we wanna be sure that we're very accurate. The thing we're most excited about now is that we are uh, getting ready to release our symptom matcher and this is designed totally from the patient's perspective. So it will allow you to figure out by asking questions, by pointing to parts of your body, giving symptoms in English talk. So we have converted uh, all of the medical terminology into what we call medical plain talk so that patients can identify with it and tell us that they have a swollen elbow or their ear looks too big or funny or any of those kind of things and we'll translate that into medical terminology and then use our cognitive computing to evaluate which genetic conditions might apply. We expect to have a thousand diseases fully vetted in the system by the end of 2017. Currently we have 250 of the most common genetic conditions in our system. Uh, all of the things on the prenatal screening uh, panels uh, and additional diseases that uh, pharmaceutical companies that are working with us are interested in as well. Our partners for Think Genetic include pharmaceutical companies, uh, clinical testing labs, physicians, and certainly patients and advocacy groups that are very much behind what we're trying to do as we change the way that people get diagnosed with rare genetic diseases. Um, now I'd like to move into a demo and I'll show how the symptom matcher can be used to shorten the diagnosis period. Thank you.